Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, which is a collab, let me go ahead and get that out of the way. This video is a collab with a few other awesome homeschool mamas, so please be sure and check out their videos after you watch this one. We would appreciate it so much, and we thank you so much for watching. get into it. So today's video is um, something I haven't talked about really since I've been homeschooling, um, but that's, this is encouragement for those mamas who either have just started homeschooling or are considering homeschooling, but they don't think that they are cut out for it um, or don't think that they can homeschool or if you've just started homeschooling and you're second guessing yourself, this is for you. So I started homeschooling my daughter three years ago. I'm a mom of three. I have an 11 year old, a four year old, and a four month old. So I'm kind of in the trenches right now, so I get it. Um, some days are definitely harder than others for sure. So I just wanna share, just wanna share some things that I've learned along the way. First started homeschooling, we, we went through some bullying, we went through some things, and I just wanted to give it a shot. I never saw myself homeschooling, but it was something that I was curious about and I wanted to try it. So I went through and learned everything I needed to know about how to even get started. That's your first step is researching, doing all your research. It might get a little overwhelming because there is so much information and different styles and methods in every state. Um, guidelines and policies are different as far as homeschool so definitely do your research on what your state requires of you and all of that first off and how to get started and then you do all of those things and then next it's deciding which method you want to try first you do not have to do a set method all the time or every time this is my mistake going into it I thought you had to replicate school at home and that's just not the case and that can really be detrimental to you and your kids going forward. In my experience, for some people, replicating school at home is the perfect method for them. And if that's you, go for it. Try it. If it doesn't work, though, do not be afraid to step out of your comfort zone and try something different. Um, every family's dynamics and schedules and routines and activities and just lives look different so homeschool is not going to look the same for everyone um also as far as your education if you're not if you haven't been to school to be a teacher i haven't but nobody has your kids interests at heart more than you do nobody loves your child more than you other than maybe god or your spouse you know but yeah, if you um, have a desire to teach your kids and you are, you know, an advocate for your child and you care about your child, then you're absolutely going to be able to teach your kid because you are going to be the one who wants to, them to succeed more than anyone else in this world, maybe even them, um, for now. But you can do it. And in Georgia, where I am, you have to have at least a high school education, um, a diploma or a GED to teach your kids. So if you do not have that, I recommend getting that. And then you would be able to homeschool. And if you have more than that, that's wonderful. And you can use all the things that you know and you've learned along the way to teach your children. For us, we started off with a box curriculum set five subjects straight through and I bought some books at um, Goodwill and different places to supplement if we needed supplements. So that worked well for us for the first year. I say it worked well. It was a good place to start because I didn't know what I was doing going into it and that gave me more of a guideline and outline to go by rather than having to create my own or pull things from all over. But yeah, that was just an easy way for us to get started. I do recommend that if you're getting started, just so you're not so overwhelmed and confused. 
just remember you do not have to stick with the curriculum if you don't like it you do not have to finish a curriculum you can change curriculum at any time during the school year that's not a problem and on school like I said there are so many methods I'll list some up here but there are so many methods to homeschooling and some that are just not even there's not even a name for them because they're your own unique way but just remember you do not have to replicate school you do not have to stay inside society's box of what school looks like um, for us school looks different every day especially when I have children from 11 years to four months old in that spectrum some days are harder than others some seasons of life are very different than others this last season I was pregnant I was sick trying to homeschool two kids and sick from being pregnant not just like sick all the time but you know in that season I had to give myself some grace and say okay I'm gonna do what I can today but whatever I don't get done will make up on a day where I'm feeling better and you have to give yourself some grace give your kid a book to read or turn on the history channel or whatever you need to do where they're still learning but you don't have to do so much hands-on teaching when you're not in the best place to be teaching at the moment um, if there is a time like right now I have a four month old it is really hard for me to teach from this time to this time doing dot 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 every single day I have I plan my week ahead of time but I give myself some grace again because I do have a four month old so what we're doing right now is we I let the kids sleep in I get up with the baby I feed him, I feed myself, I have some coffee, I have some me time to check emails, do whatever I need to do that morning, get myself ready. Get, then I get them up, let them wake up. Um, rather than waking them up, I give them time to actually wake up, um, do their chores, eat something. It's so important. That's another thing, food. Make sure your kids are eating before you do school and they'll be off to a better start um, instead of just like, jumping up, rushing through breakfast, um, and rushing to get started because you think you're not going to be done in time or the end of the school day. So, um, yeah, just kind of give yourself some grace in different seasons. Right now I'm breastfeeding, changing diapers, putting him down for naps and things. So, now that my daughter's older, she can do things on her own more. And my four-year-old, she's in pre-K, she doesn't have to have a six to eight hour structured school day she can do some coloring do a few pages of activities watch some you know educational shows she can play with toys and that's still learning um we don't have to be sitting at a desk doing worksheet after worksheet book after book all day long to to learn so i give myself some grace on the times the start times and end times and that thing that makes things run a lot smoother one other thing that we've been doing after they eat and do their chores uh, instead of starting school I've been taking them outside first and letting them get all that energy out um, to play and the fidgetiness you know that comes in the earlier part of the day and midday let them do all that then we come in and get started and they're they've got all that ex excess energy out and they're more settled to sit and do their schoolwork so that's been working really well for us but like I said you don't have to do any certain method you just try whatever you want to try until you find what works for your family and what works in one season may not work in the next so don't be afraid to give yourself some grace there and just keep doing your best and as long as you're doing that they're going your kids are going to be fine and they're going to learn another thing that I didn't really realize was homeschool is really a lifestyle you don't have to sit in a classroom all day or sit and do schoolwork all day to learn everything almost literally everything can be turned into a learning experience from the shows that you watch from the places that you go the places you travel when we like when we go to the beach you know we this past time I was pregnant we went to Panama City we took the girls to a um, like a sea creature type place um what was it called i'll leave it down here but um they got to see all kinds of animals and things kind of like a zoo but for sea creatures 
and that was a learning experience while we're on vacation going and playing on the beach is a learning experience they learn about that um that environment and grocery store budgeting um how i make an example and treat others in front of them and how i treat them that's teaching them taking them on field trips to the zoo or aquarium or any museum or library the library is a great place to homeschool there's so many options of what you can do um, it's literally limitless unschooling is becoming really popular and i would say we're more eclectic some days we do book work some days we go on field trips and some days we unschool and just do whatever we feel like doing that day so there's so many different ways and that's what i love about homeschooling is no matter what you do as long as you're learning you're doing it right so just make sure you're doing what works for your family and if something's not working don't be afraid to change it up another thing that is talked about a lot is um, patience i don't feel like i'm the most patient person in the world i may be so more than others with kids just because i work with kids most of my life um, I had younger siblings, I've babysat, I had my first child young, and I've worked in um, the church nursery, and I've fostered children, so I've worked with children for as long as I can remember. So I do feel like I have more patience with children than the average person, but that does not mean that I don't have my bad days and my hard days. And on those days, don't be afraid to just stop what you're doing, go take a break, go take a breather. Say, all right kids we're gonna take a break I'm gonna go step outside get some fresh air or go sit in the bathroom and just take a minute regroup and go from there don't be afraid to give yourself a little break because everyone needs a break sometimes um, so yeah that's really all I have for you guys I hope this was helpful if you are afraid to homeschool don't be afraid you have got this and if I can do it anybody can do it so I have faith in you Leave your questions and comments down below um, and your tips. If you're a homeschool mom, leave some tips down below that I missed. I'm sure there are plenty that I missed. But anyway, I thank you so much for watching. Please don't forget to check out the other videos in this collab. I would greatly appreciate it. And I thank you ladies for doing this collab with me. And um, I hope we can do it again in the future. Thank you so much for watching. I love you and Jesus loves you too. Bye.